Hi, uh, my name's Guy Felicella, and I'm the peer clinical advisor for the BC Centre on Substance Use, the Overdose Emergency Response Centre, and Vancouver Coastal Health's Regional Addiction Program. I'm here today with the CDC of BC, uh, developing a harm reduction resource guide for people who inject tablet medications. Consuming tablets from a pharmacy likely carries less risk than drugs found in the toxic drug supply, but injecting tablets still carries some risk of harm, which is why harm reduction techniques are necessary to minimize those risks. Tablet medication contain ingredients like fillers that can cause harm when injected, such as serious infections and damage to veins, skin, heart, and lungs. These risks can be reduced by using recommended harm reduction supplies, including sterifilt filters and cotton filters. Harm reduction filters can be used to remove some of the fillers to make injecting pills safer, but they do not make tablet injection completely safe. Sterifilts have very small holes. These remove most particles. Cotton filters can remove big particles, but not small particles. Makeshift filters, such as cigarette filters or Q-tips, cotton balls, remove fewer fillers than harm reduction filters. They are not sterile and may have bacteria or viruses on them, which can cause infections. Cigarette filters may have small glass particles or other substances for smoking, and this can cause vein damage. Be sure to use the right harm reduction filters when you're using. For each injection, recommending harm reduction equipment and practices include new alcohol swab, needle, sterile water, cooker, turn kit, filters, and a pill crusher or something clean to crush your pills with, a spoon, or even a paper bag. Please everyone, don't use alone, carry naloxone, use it in OPS, filter your drugs, and practice these harm reduction methods. Thanks for listening.